Saint Gertrude the Great. Saint Gertrude the Great, a German Benedictine mystic and theologian, lived during the 13th century. Born in Eibin, Saxony, around 1256, she entered the Benedictine monastery of Helfta at the age of five. This monastery, also known as Helfta Abbey, would become a center of learning and mysticism during the medieval period. From a young age, Gertrude showed a deep devotion to God and an inclination toward a contemplative life. She received her education at Helfta Abbey, where she thrived both academically and spiritually. Gertrude's spiritual journey was greatly influenced by the teachings of Saint Bernard of Clairvaux and Saint Augustine. Around the age of 26, Gertrude experienced a profound spiritual awakening. She began to cultivate a rich interior prayer life and devoted herself to the study of sacred scripture. Gertrude's mystical experiences and writings, particularly her herald of divine love and revelations, provide insights into her profound encounters with God. Gertrude was known for her humility and deep sense of unworthiness before God. Despite her intense mystical experiences, she remained grounded in her monastic life fulfilling her duties within the Benedictine community. She emphasized the importance of balancing contemplative prayer with active participation in the liturgy and communal life. One of the central themes in Gertrude's mystical writings is her devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She had a profound understanding of God's love and mercy, and her visions often centered around the compassionate heart of Christ. Gertrude's writings also highlight the importance of gratitude and praise as expressions of love for God. Gertrude's influence extended beyond her own monastery. She corresponded with theologians, bishops, and other religious figures of her time, sharing her insights into the spiritual life. Her humility and wisdom gained her a reputation as a spiritual guide, and many sought her advice. In addition to her mystical experiences, Gertrude contributed to the theological and liturgical traditions of the Church. Her writings reflect a deep knowledge of scripture and the teachings of the Church Fathers. She also played a role in the development of liturgical prayers, particularly those for the Feast of the Sacred Heart. Gertrude's final years were marked by physical suffering, including a chronic illness that caused her great pain. Despite her physical trials, she maintained her spirit of gratitude and continued to offer her suffering for the glory of God and the salvation of souls. Saint Gertrude the Great passed away on 17 November 1302, at the age of approximately 46. Her feast day is celebrated on 16 November. Although she was never officially canonized, she has been venerated as a saint for centuries and her contributions to mysticism and spirituality continue to inspire believers today. St. Gertrude's life serves as a testament to the transformative power of prayer, humility, and a deep, personal relationship with God.